Hi there, Sutamani here again. <coughs> Back at the uh, Harkwood Golf Course, enjoying a beautiful day here today. How are things? I've just been listening again to uh, David Wood's call about the five magical keys to selling. And I was particularly listening to the second key today, which is mainly about constantly feeding our minds with what we need to become successful uplifting materials, positive information, and of course training as well. And um, it reminded me of something I saw on the news this morning, on TV news. Whoops, I turned the TV news on, how bad. <laughs> um, and uh, it was a woman in the States being interviewed and they were discussing whether there's actually a uh, a female ceiling or a female cage as far as uh, employment goes the glass ceiling the female glass ceiling or the female glass cage and the, the I've never heard of that term the, the female um, glass cage before I've heard of the glass ceiling of course um, in the 1990s I was uh, teaching in TAFE in New South Wales and I was actually writing and delivering and training in courses called Work Opportunities for Women and Career Education for Women. And they were courses that targeted women who'd left the workforce to have a family and had, were coming back to the workforce after maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 years out of the workforce and um, giving them some skills and some impetus and some job seeking skills plus maybe some other trade skills or IT skills, computing skills, whatever, so that they could find a job. And we, we did have a component of the course that was all about uh, self-belief and um, feeling strong in yourself. But looking, reflecting on it now, I don't think it was a big enough section of the course. I think a lot of these women um, were really suffering from the lack of belief in what they could do. And we probably only ever needed to give them a self-belief and they could have gone and found out what it, found whatever they wanted to do and done it. <laughs> We actually, well, a lot of the courses I did were um, in specific trades like stained glass, cabinet making, marine industries and so on. And uh, just even thinking about my own life, I think I've put myself in a bit of a cage too as far as my career goes. I think I could have possibly uh, gone a lot further um, as far as um, job promotion, um, pushed myself a lot further. I vividly remember um, working with um, an IT head teacher at a college in Sydney and he showed me, he said, oh, I'm applying for the head teacher at another really massive college, a really high powered position it was. And I thought, oh gosh, she's going for that. And he showed me his application and it was full of I, 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 I can do this, I can do that and, and I'm the best one and this. And I thought, oh, my God, how full of himself he was. And to me, it was a really boastful resume. Guess what? He got the job. Funny, eh? I, I, I watched that myself, saw it happen, and then didn't change my own resume. I should have done. Because when we moved up to Queensland in 2000, I, I applied for heaps of jobs and didn't make my, I'm sure I didn't make my resume and, and applications as positive as I should and as affirmative as I should. So, there you are. Um, I, 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 just looking at my life experience, I agree entirely with David Wood. He spent probably 15 years of his life feeding his mind with positive materials. I've now been doing it for, for the months I've been in Empower Network, constantly. Pretty much every day, I listen to the inner circle. It's wonderful. Uh, I find it so positive. Now, my husband comes from a very positive society, Fijian society, and when he first came to Australia, he was one of the most positive people I knew. But I notice now he's not as positive as he used to be. So even now I'm saying, oh, come on, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't worry about it. Relax. <laughs> Whereas it used to be the other way around. I was the one that was always complaining and criticising other people and finding fault and blaming. <laughs> well, there you go. You can change. You can change. If you haven't seen the inner circle of this uh, video will be either on YouTube and there'll be a link be below it 
or on my blog and there'll be a link below it where you can click on it and go and have a look at the Inner Circle and buy it. You can just buy that if you don't want to join Empower Network. Just buy the Inner Circle product. It's wonderful. If you want to fill your mind with positive belief systems and empowering information from people who've got where you want to go, people who are extremely wealthy, who are humble, but have learned how to affirm themselves and learned how to treat their mind with respect, learned how to cut out extraneous rubbish that's not necessary, to use the energy that they do have wisely, especially their creative energy, because to really make a lot of money, you need to use your creative energy wisely. You've only got so much of it. So don't throw it away, wasting it on negative thoughts, negative actions, negative speech, watching negative programs. Don't waste it. Only got one life, make the most of it. Come and join me. See ya.